I apologize for that. I had not noticed uh, that I was uh, speaking at great length. Um, <laughs> apparently, I was almost talking for 15 minutes, which is a bit long for myself. Uh, but then again, this is my personal video vlog of my uh, daily musings and just to amuse myself. Um, uh, gentlemen, my friends, um, I would recommend that we all, um, or that you all, start showing off your pipe collections. It would be interesting to see them. Um, to carry on with my little bit of rambling, um, I had some uh, recent uh, mails uh, to me, uh, messages, asking uh, what tobaccos are recommended uh, for smoking and what do I personally smoke. Um, I do keep a collection of pipe tobacco on me because I'm the type of connoisseur who enjoys to change uh, pipe tobaccos uh, on a regular basis just to uh, experience new flavors or to uh, change the palate, so to speak. Uh, as I said earlier, my favorite blend, um, far none, I'm an English blend uh, smoker, I very much prefer that. Um, the f one I really like is, uh, of course, Three Nuns, I said that already. Um, this is kind of pricey, you might find it maybe anywhere from 17 US dollars to 21 US dollars, I think. Um, in Europe it's about 17 euros, or um, in Japan it's about 2,000 yen, but it's very well worth it. Um, the other one that I highly recommend for all those who are trying to get into English blends, this one is excellent. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's by Samuel Kuwait. It is Squadron Leader Tobacco. Um, it's another English blend. It's wonderful uh, smelling. Uh, I say like a bouquet of flowers. Uh, as opposed to the Three Nuns, which the Three Nuns smells of uh, like, um, hunter sausage, like deer sausage, uh, upon opening the tin. This one has a very uh, almost rubbery um, floral scent to it. It's very nice, very smooth, very mellow. Uh, it might run about, oh, I think, about s 17 euros, 16 American dollars, something like that, somewhere in that ball range. Very nice though. Um, for uh, flavorful tobaccos, or aromatics as they are, um, the one I really prefer, which is very strong end, is uh, McLean's uh, 221B series uh, called Black Shag. On the front it has my beloved Sherlock Holmes. Uh, for all you fellow Sir Arthur Conan Doyle fans, uh, this is the famed tobacco that Sherlock kept inside of a Persian slipper nailed to his mantelpiece. Um, it's very strong tasting, um, but uh, the taste is not overpowering. Um, it's a delightful smoke, wonderful for uh, summertime, I think. Um, it only increases in flavor with age, so it's very nice. Um, once again, I collect all the tobaccos that have Sherlock Holmes across it, because I'm a fanatic for Sherlock Holmes. Um, I belong to the uh, Sherlock Holmes Society here of Japan and I uh, rather enjoy collecting them. And this one is from Peterson, it's the next one. Uh, it is the Sherlock Holmes from Peterson. It is delightful, it has a, uh, a very like wild berry scent to it, very flavorful. Um, it is an excellent piece uh, to keep around with your, uh, your collection. And uh, it's is very good, but it's not very good to let dry out. It's my recommendation. Unlike most other pipe tobaccos, uh, this one is my last one I keep on hand. It's by Cornell and Hill. Uh, it is the autumn evening. Um, I keep this one on uh, for the winter time and cold time. Um, it's has a very strong. Um, scent and taste of uh, Canadian ma maple syrup. It is uh, very toasty as well. Uh, very good to have on with you uh, um, wanting something very sweet on your palate. It's very good after uh, eating and uh, dining uh, a heavy meal. Um, 
so that's those questions answered. Um, the other question that I received um, was uh, towards pipe cleaning, and um, I had a question proposed to me asking uh, what was the best way to clean mesh arm pipes, and I will um, go into detail with that later in another video. Um, but until then, uh, thank you for listening, and uh, next time I hope to have a bit more of an interesting blog for everyone, yeah? Okay, so, till next time, tschüss!